Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be exploring the sum if function in Excel. And it's just, it's a really powerful tool, you guys. It's going to allow you to sum values based off of conditions. And we've talked a couple of times about conditions like if, and maybe you've even seen my other video on count if. Uh, and it just makes your data analysis much more efficient. So let's go ahead and get started. So what is sum if? Well, it's a conditional function that's going to summarize or add up values that are in a range that meet a specific criteria. It's really helpful for when you're analyzing financial data, um, scenarios, sales figures, anything where you want to add up numbers, but selectively. Maybe not an entire range, but just bits and pieces of a range if they fit a certain condition. So let's talk about the syntax as always. Of course, here it starts with the equal sign and then one word, sum if, S U M I F, and then the open parentheses. We have the range, the criteria, and then the sum range. So let's talk about what each of these parts mean. The range, that's going to be the cells that you want to sum up or evaluate from the criteria. The criteria is going to be what determines which cells get added up. So is that going to be a, a, a text? Is that going to be a specific number? Is that going to be an expression? What is Excel going to look for in order to know which cells are going to be added up? And then finally, here we have some range, and it's in the square brackets, you guys, because again, this is optional. This is going to be what cells are added up if it's different from the range. All right, so let's see how this works. Here we have a list of sales figures in column A, and then we've got the categories for those sales figures in column B. Let's say that we wanted to add up all the sales uh, of electronics. I'm going to add a header here just to make it clear here that we're looking for electronics. And right underneath that, I'll put in the sum. So I'm going to go ahead and start to put in our function of equals sum if. So I want to look in the B column, the category column. And if there's a word in the category column that's electronics, then I want it to sum up the A column. All right, so my range here is going to be the B column. So B1 through B21, comma, the criteria here is going to be the word electronics. Now I could type that in surrounded by quotes, but you know what? Since I already have it inside of D1, I'm just going to click on D1. That's going to be my criteria, comma, and then what it is that I want it to sum up. Well, I can't have it sum up text, right? I can't have it sum up the range. I want it to sum up the sales figure. So that's where I'm going to use my sum range, and that's going to be A2 down to B21. All right, so sum if, if what's inside the B column equals whatever is in D1, in this case, electronics. So if the category is electronics, then the sum range is going to be A2 down to A21. Let me go ahead and hit enter. So this says that I have $3,200 worth of electronic sales. Isn't that super easy, you guys? Isn't that super cool? All right, let's do this even. Let me go ahead, since I have it referencing the cell, the cell let me go ahead and change the word electronics to maybe home goods. And there it is, $2,100 worth of home goods. All right, guys, so that is just a quick tutorial on how to use the sum if function in Excel. It's going to make your life a lot easier. You guys saw how quick it was to do, and the syntax isn't very hard to learn at all. If you want to follow along or use this worksheet, you can take a look down in the description, and there will be a link there. Otherwise, don't forget to thumbs up and thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.